Hi, welcome to another exciting Unity and Playmaker tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi. In this third episode, I'll show you how to create foam on the rock and shoot mechanism. I have rearranged the island along the z-axis and removed those nasty cliff objects, scaled and rotate different rocks to a different sizes and rotation. Also, please make sure it is aligned to you on the y-axis so it rests slightly above the ocean. I'm going also to reorganize the hierarchy. So let's create new empty game object. Rename it to rocks. Select all of our rocks game object and then drag all of it to the newly created empty game object. Onto the splashes effect, naturally there should be a foam or splashes on the rocks edges where it meets the ocean. So in order to make that, we are going to use a particle system. Select one of the rocks and then right click to create new empty game object as a child. Name the new object splashes and then add a particle system component. Make sure looping and pre-warm is checked. Decrease its duration here to 1. Change the shape below to box. And I'm going to reduce the start speed to 0, so the particles do not move. Increase the start size to around this, uh, around 20 units. And then onto the shape, let's try to change it to circle. I don't think box is working. So. Rotate it on the x-axis under the transform component so it aligns with the oceans or is it y? Uh, I don't think so. It's indeed the x. So turn it around 90 degrees. And then enable emit from edges under the shape option. Adjust the radius of the shape to be as big as the island. Okay, so I found it why the circle emitter won't work. It is because we have scaled the parent object, which is the rocks. So we'll have to change the circle radius to a very large size. Try to scale it until you can see the foam. And then adjust the rock's height so it doesn't float. And we can change the particle size back to a smaller value. I'm gonna also change the color to a very light blue. And maybe we can also change the size to a random value between 9 and 12. Also try to change the alpha value inside the color. So we have created the basic foam object. But one thing I have changed in the render settings is to set the render mode to horizontal billboard and increase the order in layer from 0 to 1. This will make sure the particle gets rendered on top of the ocean. So now we'll have to duplicate the splashes. Drag the duplicate in the hierarchy to become the child of another rock. 
adjust position to 000 on all of the axes so it gets centered to the new parent object. You will have to fiddle with the position so it is exactly same height with the ocean. And if needed, adjust the radius of the particle shape so it fits with the size of the rock. I'm going to pause the recording and then I'm going to adjust all of the splashes to the rock and we'll continue from there. So I duplicated the particles for each of the rock island and also readjust the position and size so it fits with the rest of the island. Let's try it and see how does it looks like. It may doesn't seem much but those little details really helps the feel of the game. So whenever you can add more details then do it. Next we are going to create weapon or shooting system to the project. Create a new empty game object. Rename it to shot position. Make this object the child of our hero's sci-fi fighter AK-5 and center the object by zeroing out the position in Transform Inspector. Move it on the Z axis a bit to the front and you can enable the label icon so it will be visible on the scene editor for easier adjusting. And now let's create the project tile. Duplicate the shot position, rename it to standard blaster. And then create new empty game object as the child of the standard blaster. Move it on the X axis, slide to the left, around here. So let's create a new particle system. And I'm going to change the shape to box. And I'm going to change all the value to zero. And then set the start speed to a lower value around 2. I'm going to enable looping and pre-warm. Change the duration to 1 and change the start lifetime to 0 0.5. So it's shorter or around. Yeah, maybe 0 0.5 would be better. And then I'm going to increase the emission a bit around 15 value. And we can change the start color to yellowish, a bright yellowish around orange. Uh. Okay, so change also the transparency, the alpha value. So we get this additive effect. And then I'm going to change the size over lifetime. Uh, like the one we have on our thruster. So at the end of the curve, we are going to lower the size so it gets smaller on the end. Okay, you can also change the start size to a smaller value, 0 0.5, or I'm going just to leave it on 1. Start speed to around 1.5. And then I'm going to duplicate the particle and mirror to the other side. So just uh, remove the minus sign on the X position so it aligns to the other side. Okay, so now we are going to set the collider. So select the standard blaster and then add box collider. And I'm going to adjust the position. So it aligns with our particle effect and then scale the X size and also the Y, also the Z and then readjust the position further 
make sure that the collider is smaller than our particle and then I'm going to uh, check is trigger options and we are going to copy this collider and remove the negative sign on the x-axis so it gets mirrored to the other particle and we are going to drag the standard blaster to be our prefabs uh, inside the prefabs folder okay I'm going to delete the standard blasters we, we already create the prefabs and then I'm going to create a new empty game object and position in front of our ship and I'm going to add a light component I'm going also to increase the intensity of the light around 6 and after we adjust the position yeah a bit uh, above so we can see that our ship is getting lit when we are disable and enabling our light this is going to be our flash effects and under our self fighter we're going to create a new FSM and going to rename this FSM to AK5 uh, fire and for firing I'm going to I'm going to use a get button down action and then we are going to create a new event I'm going to create a new event called fire and then I'm going to add the transition fire to the first state and also set that event to the send event under get button down and on second state we are going to create an object we are going to use create object actions and then we are going to create our standard blaster prefabs as the game object and for the spawn point we are going to use the shot position and then we are going to use activate game object for enabling our lights and so we can drag our lights object to the game object and then make sure reset on exit is checked so when it exits the state it will get disabled again so add finish and then go back to state 1 and I'm going to add a wait action so we cannot uh, fire uh, too rapidly uh, to, uh, set the time to a smaller value around 0 0.05 okay so this should work but we will have to add an FSM uh, on our standard tester prefab so I'm going to add a playmaker FSM and then under the playmaker editor I'm going to choose our default blaster uh, sorry standard blaster prefabs and I'm going to add a translate uh, action set the space to world and I'm going to set the Z axis value to 35 and make sure per second and every frame is checked and then add destroy object after translate uh, below translate set the delay to around 1.5 second and add uh, standard blaster as the game object so it will get uh, this prefabs will get destroyed after uh, born for 5.1.5 uh, second and let's try this uh, as you can see there on our hierarchy we can see it gets created and later it gets destroyed So there you go we have a very nice uh, basic working system for the speed the environment the fire system and we are going to develop this further on the next episode so 
Thanks for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you like what you're watching, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next session. Bye.